Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed SpeakPipe into your website so that people can leave you voicemail through your website. This is a tool that Rushton Hurley and I have spoken about on our weekly webinars recently, and a lot of people have asked me about including it in a website. So here's how it works. I'm in my SpeakPipe account, and I'm going to go into my settings. And here in my settings, you'll see options for widgets and i'm going to choose the side i can choose a sidebar button i can do a dialogue setting this is a few different options in here so let's go in and take a look at also our inline widgets for my class over here i have mr burns class and i have my online inline widget i'm going to copy this code here I'm going to put it into my sample Google site, but you can put it into any website that accepts HTML embeds. So here I have my sample Google site, and I'm going to click on the embed option over here. Use the embed code. Paste that in. So you give me a preview of it. I like the preview. It's good. Let's insert it. And now it's on my page. And of course, I can resize it as needed on the page to make it fit how I want. And of course, I can move it around to any other place that I like on the page. So now that this has been set up and I publish the site, I'm going to publish this new version. Anyone who's visiting my site will be able to click on that speak pipe button and leave me a voicemail message that will then show up here in my speak pipe account under my inbox. So I can just hit that record button and allow access to my microphone and now it's recording. And this is my sample recording and the student or the parent can keep talking or up to 90 seconds, hit that stop button. Now they can put in their name and their email address if they want to. And hit send, and then close it out. And that will appear over here in my speak pipe inbox. There's that new message right there. So that's how you can include speak pipe in your Google site or any other website that you own. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.